So today I'll be taking you through the benefits of rose water and I always share the amazing benefits of products or items I use after trying them out on my skin because I have really really sensitive skin and I would definitely recommend rose water yeah so I use rose water mostly to tone up my skin because of course you follow the regime of um, cleansing your skin toning it and moisturizing it twice a day okay and because my skin is super 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 sensitive <laughs> um, someone had recommended that I use rose water because of course it's affordable duh and um, it has so many other benefits um, besides that and um, I've been using it for a while now and I have felt the difference on my skin it has even out my skin tone because um, I remember I had um, I had a darker patch, like a darker patch over my head and dark around my nose, especially my nose, like it was so visibly dark <laughs> and just around um, my cheekbones as well. So I'd been using it for that and it has made such a difference. And not only does it work amazingly on your skin, it smells super, super fresh and rosy and all the beautiful things. <laughs> yeah. And, um... I've also been using it for my eyes, like especially when I get puffy eyes, that's been happening a lot due to lack of sleep as well. I just um, refrigerated, okay, I split it into two portions, so I just keep one as my toner and then the other bit I keep it in the fridge. So when I do have puffy eyes, I take my cotton wool, yeah, cotton pads, and just wet them and place them on my eyes, let them rest for like... Um, 15 to 20 minutes and then just remove them and lo and behold puffiness is gone <laughs> so it definitely works wonders for that so other benefits of this include um, the simple fact that rose water is high in pH like the pH level is so high and because of that it just naturally balances the pH of your skin as well and fights bacteria, bacteria causing acne. So it definitely curbs um, acne and um, it naturally smooths your skin, tones out your skin, refreshes your skin as well. And um, not only that, it also fights other skin related issues like eczema, cirrhosis, dermatitis as well. And also it's great as a spritz spray that you can carry in your handbag. And whenever you feel like your skin is getting all like dryish because of the sun and cloggy, you just spritz it on your face and you just get this refreshing feeling because it naturally also hydrates your skin. Yeah. So option to refrigerate it, option to keep it in your bathroom and option to keep it in your handbag. And it's also a natural makeup setter. I remember some time back I had my makeup done by um, somebody and the moment she sprayed some um, makeup setter on my face, my skin literally started burning. I started feeling some tingling sensations around my face and all that stuff. And I was like, what the hell did you put on my face? So my skin was like rather sensitive and inflamed after that and I started using um, rose water so it's like I'll spray it like literally four times a day because it naturally fights inflammation as well so I'll just spritz it on my face spritz it, spritz it and then within like two to three days my skin was like back to normal like nothing had happened yeah and because of um, skin irritations and skin reactions I personally always get like rash around the areas, especially when I try out a new product immediately. I just get this rash and it just spreads around my face. So to also fight um, the side effects of such products and you're not so sure what it is you're using, I'll definitely suggest um, setting with um, rose water first and then putting whatever product it is that you have to put on especially when it comes to makeup and all that stuff so I always prefer to work with makeup artists who understand that skin is sensitive okay skin reacts to certain kinds of makeup especially makeup you get from downtown as compared to what other makeup artists use as the good genuine makeup products out there yeah and um, also reacting to makeup or brushes as well because some makeup artists don't wash their brushes as regularly and that can also cause reaction on your skin so it's always safe 
please please even to makeup artists out there i would recommend rose water use rose water to avoid all that necess unnecessary um discomfort or issues you might be having with your clients as well and um yeah i think that's just about it <laughs> um for more benefits of course as i always do i list them right down at the bottom i would definitely definitely recommend rose water to everybody like rose water is the way to go yeah it's perfect for your skin you don't get a reaction if you're worried about getting a bad reaction just mix it up with water and use it like it never killed anybody yeah same thing as um removing matte lipstick i always use whatever moisturizer i use to remove because matte lipstick is beautiful it stays the whole day but lord it's the hardest thing to remove off your face it just smudges up around your cheeks and all that stuff and then i start to swell up but anyways i have to use matte lipstick anyways and um after removing the matte lipstick i always just take my cotton wool put a bit of it um there and just like let it set like help it to set in and then the swelling goes almost immediately so this is definitely great for reducing swelling on your face or any part of the body as well but mostly for your face of course yeah and yeah i think that's just about it on the benefits <laughs> of rose water and stay tuned subscribe um stay up to date and until my next video i'll be seeing you bye